In this video I'm gonna show you our day trip from the hub to Ras Abu Galum, a secluded protectorate about 15 km north of the hub, towards Taba direction. The protectorate has an area about 400 square meters and is famous not only for its coast, but for birds watching for rare species of animals and plants. But we decided to make a day trip to the seacoast area there and chill out a bit. We went there with our guide Xenia and her little daughter Lou. The plan was to take a speedboat from the hub and then walk back along the sea to the Blue Hole, a famous diving spot from where we would be picked up by car. If you didn't watch my other videos about the hub and surroundings, the link will be above and in the description. Here I believe it's uh, open Asala beach area or a little bit further, we took the speedboat. Uh, you can ask any driver in the hub and they will bring you here if you plan your trip on your own. As far as I know, if you don't want to pay a lot, uh, you have to wait for other companions to go with you so the boat is full and it can be up to 10 people, I believe. So it would cost 200 per person if the boat uh, is full. I was looking forward to taking a boat ride and I didn't know how delusioned I was when I imagined it would be peaceful, quiet and pleasant. No, it, it was the opposite because the sea was very choppy, the boat was going very fast and we had no safety jackets on and had nothing to hold on properly to. Bear it in mind that it's not a safe and pleasant journey if you're like me, a little bit afraid of uh, falling into the water and uh, have a small kid with you. By the way, the small kid, <laughs> or <laughs> at least, she wasn't scared at all because she was sat on her daddy's knee and he was encouraging her and telling her that, oh, it's so cool, it's so cool. But in the end, we safely arrived to Rasabugaloon. Here I had to mute the sound because even with the dead cat on the mic the wind was so strong it didn't help. Here I am talking about how happy I am to arrive safely to the coast. This boat ride reminded me a lot about experience in Kopangan which I had a few years ago when I was in Thailand and we had a speedboat ride for fun, kinda, and the speedboat was riding like crazy and me and a couple of other people were set on a sort of inflatable thing and uh, could hold on to it, but it was so difficult to hold on it that uh, we got bruises and for me that sort of level of adrenaline is a bit too high. Rasa Bungalum is known for its crystal clear waters and corals which makes it a great spot for snorkeling or scuba diving. There is a Bedouin settlement on the beach and it's possible to rent out a hut there and stay for a couple of nights if you want something like a really remote escape. Let's see what's inside. Hmm? Just a mattress. Not a very clean one. Light. It must be pretty windy at night, but romantic. We're going to take the road back by foot. Luckily, <laughs> I'm not so keen on speedboat. It will take, uh, I don't know how long, but uh, it's about five kilometers. 
and we go to the blue hole where we can be picked up by car. We spent here a few hours just chilling in the shadow and drinking tea. It's fairly unsafe because no, nothing to hold on to. No safety jackets, there's nothing no to hold on. The guy can't pilot a boat properly. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. We made it. Ras Abu Galum has several diving sites. South Ras Abu Galum dive site is 100 meters deep in the western part, and the eastern part descends from the very shore with a continuous coral garden from 3 to 10 meters, and is picturesquely indented by a small base in the south. There is an accumulation of coral pillars and heads, which form a real underwater labyrinth there. North Ras Abugalum is a narrow sandy lagoon that serves as the entrance to the dive site, the northern part of which is covered with turtle grass, while the southern part boasts of coral heads and large table corals, growing on a shallow sandy bottom. They say it's an ideal place for underwater photo and video shooting and night diving under the full moon. Then there is so-called Red Tooth Triggerfish Bay. This dive site rich in underwater fauna, like uh, you can find here moray eels, string rays, scorpion fish, trigger fish, schools of butterfly fish. And it is uh, in a sunny sandy slope overgrown with a forest of table corals. In Rasabugalum village itself there is a coral reef that starts two or three meters from the shore and turns into a sheer wall, depth from 10 to 60 meters, covered with a dense carpet of colorful soft corals, gorgonians and large coral heads. Nobody else apart from me wanted to have a swim and snorkel because the wind was very strong and in the wind it was even cool and though the sun was sultry. And the thing about Egypt that temperature and water here, at least in winter, is uh, about the same, 21-22 uh, degree both, so it's warmer in the water when there is a wind outside. Once you get into the water it's okay to swim. I regretted many times that I forgot my GoPro even though it was an old model, GoPro 4 at home, because the underwater world here is really amazing. So this is not my footage, this is from stock, but that's really what you can see here. It's a perfect place for chilling out, just like this, meditating or with a book. Just don't forget to put lots of sun cream on you, because uh, even though the wind is cooling down your body, the sunburn is more dangerous in these weather conditions. Getting ready to set off to the blue hole by foot. The path is 5.5 kilometers and is really picturesque. It's mostly flat and easy doable for adults and for kids it depends. If a kid likes walking and a little bit older, like starting three years old, then it's okay. Ours prefer to be carried most of the time, so you need strong shoulders. This path is really pleasant and you can observe the Akaba Bay and enjoy the views. There's lots of places for photo shooting if you want a photo session here. We arrived to Rasabugalum at 11 and left about uh, 1 pm. So it was perfect timing because after we left, the speedboats started arriving, bringing more and more people. This dog followed us all the way to the Blue Lagoon. The 
this coast is full of different textures and I always like to look at them and touch them. Close your eyes, hear the voice within calling This heavy load got under your skin Howling, you got the white knuckles holding on a tie Keeping your feelings bottled up inside Heading for a collision fell asleep sitting on her dad's shoulders and he had to carry her and then he made an improvised carrier out of his jacket. Traveling with kids might be stressful but it's a lot of fun in the end and when you think about how it develops them you never mind all the difficulties. Darkland beetles are common in the desert area. The domed shape of their bodies remind the Bedouins of donkeys. They refer to them as newborn donkey for girls. No idea why for girls. We made this five and five kilometers in about one and a half or two hours. I'm not sure anymore, but we weren't uh, in a hurry, we were slow and with little kids, so it took that long. The last bit goes a bit up, but that's the only steep bit, and it's not difficult to climb. And here is the Blue Hole, the most famous dive spot in the Hub area, and probably in Sinai area, but uh, we only had a quick uh, dinner here and had to go back because the car was waiting. I hope to come here one more time in the future and probably try diving at last. <laughs>